the 2023 fixture, I believe, has been leaked. Or at least this video might as well leak it. It's, uh, yeah, some kind Sana has actually sent me a link and it's gone to the Age website and it looks like the 2023 fixture. So um, I don't know if um, everyone else has caught wind of this, but yeah, I thought I'd do a video and we can talk through it. So I've already looked at it. Straight off the bat, I'm actually very happy with this fixture. I think it's a very well-balanced fixture for our season. We don't have too many difficult double-ups. We've got a few favorable double-ups, but we'll get into it. Just straight off the bat, I have seen that it only goes obviously up until round 15, then round 16 to round 24, times, dates, TBC, as we all know. So that'll be next year closer to those games. Those will be announced. But from the first 15 weeks, I can tell you, there are five Sunday games, most of them Twilight. That's our favorite time. We've got four Saturday nights, three, I think, in the first five weeks, with one Saturday afternoon game. We have two Friday night games and a Thursday night game as well. So I've got the fixture in front of me, um, broken it down. So I'm happy to read it to you right now. Here we go. Round one, Marvel Stadium home, Sunday, 4.40 p.m. against Fremantle. That is round one. Round two, Saturday night away at Marvel, 7.25 p.m. against the Dogs. Round three, 7.25 p.m. against Essendon at the MCG, our 150 anniversary game. A home game, a special home game at the MCG. Round four, home game again, Saturday night, Marvel, 7.30 p.m. against the Gold Coast Suns. Round five, against Collingwood, the Sunday 4.20 game at Adelaide Oval in the Gather Round round in Adelaide. Round 6, Sunday, 3.20 p.m. away game against Carlton at Marvel Stadium. A couple of away games there at Marvel. Then we've got a Friday night against Port Adelaide, if you don't mind, at Marvel Stadium, 7.50 p.m. on April 28th. Straight after that, we have North, an away game at Marvel again, 4.40 p.m. on Sunday, May 7th. Then on May 14th, the next Sunday, we have Adelaide at Adelaide Oval away, 12.40 p.m. start, followed by GWS away again, so consecutive away games there, 4.40 p.m. at Giant Stadium. And round 11, we play Hawthorne at 1.45 p.m. at Marvel in our home games, early Saturday start. And then round 12, we have the bye. So that's a very good first 11 weeks, you have to say. We're not playing a Geelong. We haven't played, I don't think we've played Melbourne yet. We've, uh, yeah. It's been a good draw. Not many top four teams there, if any, really, in that first 11 weeks. So it's going to get a bit more difficult now. Round 13, exciting. Thursday night, June 8, Sydney Swans at the SCG. So that's our Thursday night game, which will be big. Straight after that, we've got a Saturday night, 7.25 p.m. at the MCG against Richmond. Round 15, we play Brisbane on Friday night at Marvel Stadium. Round 16, we've got West Coast at Optus Stadium. Obviously, dates and times haven't been confirmed. Then we've got Melbourne, home game at Marvel, which is great. Gold Coast at Metricon away in round 18, followed by North Melbourne in round 19, a home game at Marvel. Round 20, we have Hawthorne at Marvel Stadium, an away game. Round 21, we have Carlton at Marvel, a home game. And in round 22, we play Richmond at Marvel, a home game again. Round 23, we've got Geelong. The first time we play the Cats is in round 23 at Marvel, not Cadinia Park. And then to round out the in round 24, we end the season at the Gabba against the Brisbane Lions. So the first 11-week block there, that's very favorable. Very favorable. There's a lot of winnable games there. A lot of games, they're going to be critical for our season because they're against the teams like Carlton, the Dogs, Frio, the teams that are going to be around us on the ladder, Port Adelaide. The second half, he's definitely got a few more of those top, top notch teams like Brisbane a couple of times, Melbourne, Geelong, Sydney. So that's when it gets a bit more difficult. But overall, we have double ups, I think, against North, uh, Hawthorne. There's some solid games there. Richmond, possibly. So overall, saying is that's a. I'm pretty happy with that draw. Um, I'll try and get the full fixture up on the screen if I can. I'm I'm giving that a very very good rating. I'll give that a eight out of ten in terms of fixtures that we've had recently. We've had shit fixtures the last five or six years against you know double ups against everyone, all the good teams. 
Um, last year was no exception. The second half was very difficult, but this this one's a really well balanced one. I think this is a no excuse fixture. We've got some difficult games at the end of the year, but apart from that, every week is is a game that we can easily go into and hopefully with a bit of confidence get the four points. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed it, Sainers. Hopefully you appreciate the video. If you did, please like it, comment your thoughts, and let me know what you think of the fixture. I really want to hear your thoughts on that. And most importantly, please subscribe. We're only 100 subscribers away from 5,000. And as I mentioned a couple of times recently, if we can hit 5K before January 1st, 2023, one of you, one lucky subscriber will be picked at random and you will win a free St. Kilda membership for 2023. So if you're watching this and you're a Sainer or you're not a Sainer and you like my videos, hit subscribe and you will win a membership for the 2023 AFL season. So I'll leave it there, Sainers. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back on Monday for Saints TV Weekly. But until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, go you mighty Sainers. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>